All right, what we're working on today is we're going to learn how to restrict the domains and kind of work with the calculator a little bit more in order to uh, work with your parabola project. Of course, you can do this with any, any kind of like piecewise functions um, and get that done. But um, this is a course for my class and we're, we're working on our parabola project. Um, so in the parabola project, uh, we're making faces. And so, uh, so say like I want to start by making a head. So I'm looking at, at you know, here's here's my graph. Um, so I just want to like start off with like a head. So I know like this has it's gonna like go like you know almost a circular shape. Well, when we're talking about almost a circular shape, kind of an oval shape, we are talking about parabolas. Of course, a parabola cannot make a perfect circle, um, but. Uh, we're kind of trying to get this shape down. So we kind of want to work that out. And so uh, I know I'm going to need two parabolas. And so kind of like this shape again that I want to work with, um, that'll be something that's going to give me a uh, the top half of my head. So I kind of need to make something that does that. So I know it's going to be a parabola. So I know I'm going to need x squared. And then uh, I know I want it to be negative. And I know I want that vertex to kind of be somewhere up high because, you know, I want that that uh, upside down U shape. And so uh, let's add 9 to this and so it'll kind of open up a little bit higher. All right, so if I have one that was down here, um, it's basically going to be the same thing. Um, so go to Y2 now. And so uh, X squared because um, it's going to be a positive X squared because I want it to open up. And then it's gonna the vertex is gonna be moving nine down. All right, so okay, so I have that shape, but I'm looking at it here. I don't have a lot of real estate to kind of you know put some eyes in, a mouth, a nose. Um, there's not a lot of work here that I can do, um, and so I kind of want to make them a little bit fatter. So if I want to make it a little bit fatter, I'm gonna want to insert you know like let's throw in like a decimal like 0.5. Okay, and the same thing down here. Insert second insert. Point five. Excellent. So uh, we got this going on now. And so uh, you can see like, okay, that, that's a lot more real estate that I have uh, working on. So I can, uh, you know, put some eyes here, you know, throw some ears out here. But what looks really weird is I, I, I have these parts on the outside that I need to get rid of. Uh, so if I want to get rid of those, um, you know, I'm going to go back here to Y equals and I'm, that's where I want to start cutting off the domain. So I'm, I'm looking at here and I'm like, okay, I actually only want this to draw from here to here. So let's see where that is. So I'm going to click over. Uh, it's like negative 4.3 and it should be the same over here. Yeah, uh, 4.3. So I'm going to want to restrict it in between negative 4.3 and 4.3. So how do I do that? Well, I'm going to hit divide and I'm going to start my parentheses. And there are a lot of different ways you can do this. Um, you can find some different ways on the internet, but this is the way that I think this is like the most straightforward way. So hit divide, open the parentheses, um, and we're going to do X. Uh, we want it to be greater than negative 4.3, so greater than or equal to. So negative 4.3. And we want it to be less than and so x is also going to be less than or equal to so number six four point three now close your parentheses and let's take a look at our graph now so that first one you can see it only draws that part um, our second one we still need to cut it off so uh, we'll go ahead and cut it off We got a nice shape going on here. Um, okay, so uh, now I have a lot of real estate, and this is basically what you're going to be doing to make your eyes, uh, your ears, your mouth, your nose, everything. If you want to put some hair in, um, you want to put a, a good old mustache, you want to put some glasses on your dude, um, go ahead and uh, it's all going to be working like this. Um, now say I, I look over here and I see, okay, I've already used two equations, and... My calculator only lets me put in 10. I can't go further than that. So say um, I use 10, um, but I need to get rid of that. Oh, uh, first, uh, you know, I want to get rid of these axes that are going across the screen. They're really good if you want to, uh, if you're fiddling with it, um, and you need to find where the axes are, where the axis of asymmetry is working, and it, it'll be really helpful for that. 
But um, your final picture, you're going to need to take these axes off. So we're going to hit second format. And you're going to take your axes off. So right now, axes are on. And so we're going to hit axes off. And uh, there it is. Okay, so that's our. Um, that's basically the shape of our head. Um, well, not my head, but maybe your head. And, um, you know, now we want to save this picture. So you're going to hit second, draw. And you can see, like, there's a lot of stuff going on here that you want to draw, shade, uh, use the pen. Um, but what I want to do is store what's here. So I want to store this picture. So second, draw, go over here to store. And we're going to store this picture. Okay, we're going to name it pick one. Okay, you can put in one, two, three, four, you know, whatever. Um, but we're just going to name it pick one, enter. Okay, and so it comes back up, and that means it's saved, okay? So now I can clear these things out, and it's gone, but I want to bring it back, so second draw, I can recall it. And I named it number one, so I want to recall pick one, and there it is. And now I have 10 more spots I can use. And so you can keep on overlapping these. Uh, so say I like I want to put in, you know, a mouth. And so like it would be like x squared uh, minus 3 or something like that. Um, and so you can see, uh, obviously I want it a little bit lower. But, you know, I can kind of get like the, that nice smile in there if I cut it off properly. Um, and so uh, you can start to overlap different images. Um, so that's going to be your uh, your help for, for the project. You, you're going to start to want to uh, make it your own. Uh, remember to start with the sketch and get everything down that you're going to need first. Um, of course, if you have any questions, let me know as you're working through this. Um, so this was Mr. Hernandez. And remember, I'm always here to help.